If I was working for the FBI and they said, Tom, I want you to profile this murderer, it's a correlated subquery, I would say, let me tell you about it. It'll have a query at the top and a query at the bottom. It'll be the same table name, but it'll be alias totally different. And at the very bottom of the bottom query, it's going to say where ee dot column number is equal to ee -E -E dot column number, and that is correlated. So that's how I want you to recognize what a correlated subquery is. Same table twice, using different alias, and tying it all together at the very bottom where clause. Now, which query runs first, the top or the bottom? It's the top. It goes and gets everything from the employee table, and then it says, okay, who's our first employee? And they go, well, it's this person in department 400. Then they run the bottom query to find out the average salary, where e dot dep no equals e, e dot dep no, and they go, that's 400. And they go, oh, the average salary for the 400s was about 50,000. Did this person qualify? And then they keep that number for the 400s department number in memory, so if they come across anybody else in Department 400, they don't have to run the bottom query again. They will run the bottom query one time for each of the distinct departments that came from the top. That's how a correlated subquery works. Let's see this in action. Here we're going to see that we've got a result set. That's just the result set from when the top query ran. We've got a list of all the employees and now it'll go through it one row at a time and say, okay, here's the first person. They're in the null department. Let's see where anybody in null departments, their average salary running on the bottom. Then let's do the tens, then the one hundreds. Oh, there's multiple people in 200, but we'll only run the bottom query one time for everybody in department 200, one time for everybody in 300, one time for everybody in 400. That's why the top query must run first. In some databases, it doesn't work so well. They don't want you running correlated subqueries. That's why many of you have never seen this before. But in Teradata with the parallel processing, the smarts of the parsing engine, this works perfect every time. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffin. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.